What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to create this really cool uh, 3D section diagram or 3D section and I'm just going to be adding some 3D text just to explain what's going on there so it's going to be really informative and it's also going to look really really good, it's going to be very impressive. Uh, now before we jump into Revit and before I explain all of the steps I would just quickly like to ask you to check out my website BalkanArchitect.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. There you can find all of my Revit courses. I've got over 130 hours of content and I'm adding more each month. Um, I've got courses for beginners, intermediate level users, as well as advanced users. For So there is something there for everybody. Uh, also there you can check out some of my customized ready-to-go Revit templates. You can check out some of my uh, high-quality realistic Revit families and we also have a plugin that might interest you too. Okay so now without any further ado let's jump straight into Revit and as you can see here we are in Revit and I'm just going to be using this office building project for this demonstration. Uh, I have a whole course on how to create this with all of the project documentation so you can check that out on my website uh, but anyways now what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to go here to the project browser and then I'm just going to duplicate this view so just duplicate view uh, and then for this new view let's rename that into our uh, 3D section. Okay, so once we have that new 3D section view, what you want to do next is go to the properties panel. So make sure nothing is selected in the view. Then you go to the properties panel, you scroll down until you find extents. And then the final option here is the section box. So you just check that on and you hit apply. So what that will do is that will add this section box around your model. Now, sometimes this section box might be hidden. So you might want to go here to reveal hidden elements. If it's not there in this case it's there so I'm just not not going to do that anyways uh, now let's bring this section box in just like so so we want to get it kind of as close to the building as possible and then we're going to be fine-tuning it later on so I just like to kind of bring it in like so so I can have my building there and then let's come in here and then use this slider to bring this all the way up to something like that. Uh, then what I'll do next is I'll go here to the front, bring this in up to something like that. Okay. Uh, then let's go to the other side here and bring this in up to here or something like that. There we go. So this is now some star starting to look like a good diagram. Okay. So once we're here, let's bring this one in as well and then go up to up to there for example. So here now we have something that looks like a really cool diagram. Uh, now for the levels you can leave those as they are. You can modify them so you can extend this a little bit if you want. So they're out a little bit or you can bring them in if you want. So you don't have to do this. You can just get rid of those. So alternatively you can just select those and then hide them. I'm just going to be leaving them as is uh, for this particular demonstration. Uh, then uh, what you want to do next is just select that section box. Go to one of the floor plans. So in this case I'm just going to go to the first level floor plan open that up and now as I said the section box was selected when it got to this view so we can see it here now. So I like to use something that we have here in view just to measure where it is. So for example here I know it's on this window here we have the the line of the section box and then I can say okay so it's kind of there here at the window and when I click you can see it's going to disappear so that's why I kind of wanted to get that visual coordination so then I'm just going to go here to the reference plane and then place a reference plane just a little bit inside from that kind of side of the of the section box. So now here we have that reference plane and then you just want to name it. So you can give it any name that you want. I'm just going to call this one ref text because this is where we're going to be hosting our text. Okay. So once we have that uh, reference plane, now I can go back to my 3D section. And here you can make some modifications. So for example, here you can see I've cut through this furniture, but it's still visible here, which I don't like. So I'm just going to hold the control key and select 
all of this furniture that's visible because I don't want to see it. Here we have that cabinetry. Uh, okay, here we have some more cabinetry. Okay, I think this is it. So this is all of the furniture. Uh, and you can even select doors and hide those if you want. Uh, actually, I'm going to do that just because I, I think it looks a little bit better. So let's do that. And then you just go here to hide hide elements and as you can see it's going to hide them see how the doors just look a bit more elegant like this just openings okay so once we have something that looks like this now we should kind of figure out a proper kind of view proper positioning for this view so let's say I want to have it something like this so this is how I want to present that diagram so once I have everything in place uh, the next step is going to be to select the section box itself and then hide that element too just because it's going to look a little bit better. Okay, so once we have all of that, uh, now what you wanna do is you want to duplicate this view. Uh, now, before you duplicate the view, you wanna make sure that you save the orientation of the 3D view, so where the camera is positioned, you wanna save that. So you can do that here. You see this little house with a lock icon, so you just click on that, and then you click on Save Orientation and Lock View. So once we have done that, now we can go to our uh, 3D view in the project browser, right click and then duplicate this view again. Now, once we have duplicated the view, I'm just going to right click, rename, and then let's call it 3D section dash text. Okay, so this is where our text is going to be hosted. So for the next step, uh, what you want to do is uh, you just want to uh, go and go to the component and then you want to create a new model in place component. So for that model in place component, let's go here to, we can just use generic models and then click OK and we can call this okay so what now uh, now what I want to create is some sort of kind of leaders for my 3d text uh, now you have different approaches that you can use for this I'm simply going to use a sweep so I'm just going to click here on sweep uh, then I'm going to go to set work plane and we can actually set it by name which is really good because we have named that reference plane ref text so I can just select that one click OK uh, and now I can come in here and I just like to use pick lines just to kind of mark out positions in the space here. So I can just kind of mark this out here. Uh, now here, I think I made a mistake. So let me just go back a step. Yeah, so you just wanna make sure you go first to sketch path. So you don't go here to lines, you go to sketch path and then you can use pick lines. See how now it has that purple line? Well, you wanna see that. Okay, so now I have kind of the position of this Okay, move it up just that, then go to the line tool and then go from here at a 45 degree angle like so. And then I'm just going to straighten it out and you can even go past the section box if you want. So just like this. Okay, delete this line. So it's going to put that uh, reference plane here and uh, you can also double check this in uh, sections. So if you have some sections here, so let's see, oops. No, I think it's this section, yeah. Yeah, so you can kind of double check it here in the section. So I want it to go like that. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so once we have this kind of position there, uh, we can go back to our 3D section text. And then here we can come and hit finish go to edit profile. Uh, now here, because this is locked in place, you can't really change the orientation, but that's okay. So here we do have the option to uh, uh, unlock this view. So if you unlock it, you can kind of move around. And then for example, here, let's place a circle there. And I'm just going to make it really small, like two centimeters in diameter. You can also turn on 10 lines to see it better. And then when you hit finish, and finish again, it's going to look like that. Uh, so here, as I said, we have uh, unlocked this view, but you can actually restore that orientation, which is uh, which is really useful. Okay, so we have one of these here. Now I wanna have one more here for the Malian. So let's go then, uh, actually let's select this one. I'm just going to go to my section here. Okay, for some reason I can't see it. So let's see. Uh, so I, actually let's go to our 3D section text, go here to copy, copy this a little bit up, so, so something like that. And then what you wanna do is go to edit sweep, 
select the line, go to sketch path, and then you, when you go to the section, okay, now it's there. Okay, perfect. So now we can kind of play around with this, uh, with the positioning of this thing. So we can kind of position it like that. Uh, bring this in closer. And then I just want to have this pointing at that mullion. So I can do that here. Let's unlock this view again. Just make sure it's kind of pointing to the mullion here. Something like that. Okay, I think this looks perfect. Okay, uh, and then we can can I bring this up just a tad. Okay, perfect. And now if I just hit finish and finish again, as you can see, it's just going to move that there. And then also here, okay, I don't like that. It moved it on my reference plane. So if we, if this happens, uh, you can always go back to your uh, first level floor plan, and then you can just make sure that they are kind of overlapped. So here, this should be on that reference plane here, just like that. Okay, so now when I go back to my 3D section text, okay, it's there, it's in the correct position. And then also I just wanna edit that one more time. So this kind of goes up to the same point here. If you can't find it, you can just go here to align and then align it like so, perfect. And then you just hit finish and finish again. And then I'm just going to create one more here for the ceiling. Now I'm going to skip that step because it's getting a little bit repetitive. Okay, so now as you can see, I have placed one more up here. Everything looks good. And now you just wanna restore that orientation. So the original orientation which we had, which is this. So I'm happy with this, hit finish. And now we're back in the model. Now here we have a problem where the uh, just the section box is cutting these. So you can fix that by going here to, let's see. So for some reason here, we don't have all of the tools. So let's just switch in between these. 3D section. Okay, here we go. So sometimes uh, it can lag a little bit and then you have this problem. So anyways, I'm just going to go here to reveal hidden elements and then let's expand this a little bit like so so we can get kind of towards the end of those like this, perfect. So once we have this, I can just now uh, exit out of here. And now we can see here, we have a lot of these new additional elements that we have. Now I'm just going to leave this as is for now, and then we're going to fix that later on. So what you wanna do now is go to the architecture tab, then you wanna go to model text, and then here you just wanna type out what you wanna do, so, or what you wanna say. So in this case, uh, for the ceiling, I want this, to be called just to say gypsum ceiling or something like that. Okay, and then I can, or let's just not use capital letters, okay. And now I can place that because I'm on that reference plane. So I'm just going to come in here, place it like that, uh, make it a bit smaller. So let's go with five centimeters here, uh, just like that. And then uh, what you can also do do uh, is you can try to kind of position it a little bit better. So for example, if I switch the reference plane to, let's go with the first level floor plan. Okay. So now I should be able to use my arrow buttons. No, not like this. Let's see. Okay. I think it's visible in the ceiling plan. So you kind of have to play around, find that. So I think it should be visible here. Yeah, there we go. So you can then just try to kind of reposition that, or if that doesn't work, then reposition these. So let's see, add it in place. Okay, and then we can move that here, like so. Okay, so this is what they want to see. Okay, perfect. Uh, just a little bit, there we go. Okay, so now we can go back to our 3D section. So here we have the text, let's finish out of this, move the text down a little bit, and then we can move it all the way back. So I'm just using the arrow keys, moving it all the way back to the edge here. Okay, so once we have one of these, uh, then you just wanna make sure to go to architecture, set work plane, set that back to reference plane text, click okay. Then you wanna click on this and then bring it down like so, and then bring it down once again here. Okay, so once we have this kind of repeated, uh, now we wanna click on this text here, and then here we can edit the text, and this will be the steel mullions. 
or steel mullion, let's call it like that. Hit apply. Okay, so this is kind of pointing there to that mullion, and then, oops, and then we can just position this all the way to the back. Just don't make sure you don't go through the uh, section box. Okay, just like that. And then finally, for the last one, here this one will be just the concrete structure, for example. Obviously, you're going to write something more interesting. This is just kind of an example. So let's move this back in. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Concrete structure. Okay, so once we have now all of these in place, and then you can reposition them a little bit if you want. You don't have to. Uh, but now we just want to hide everything apart from this. So uh, what you can do here is what or what I like to do is just make a broad selection like this, select everything, hold the shift key, which is just going to remove things from selection, and then just remove these things here. Perfect. Then while everything is selected, you just go here to hide element. And now this is what we have left. Okay, so once we have all of this done, uh, we can also add a crop view if we want to and make it visible. Okay, just like that. Uh, now let's go back to our original 3D section and here we can also crop the view. Okay, this doesn't work, so, oops. Okay, let's just make sure it, it's showing everything that we wanna see. Okay, just like so. And then here, these things you wanna hide. So let's just come in here and hide these. So just hide element. Okay, so once we have all of this set up, now you want to place it on a sheet because that's where you're going to uh, be bringing these two uh, 3D views together. So you just want to go down here to, let's see, sheets. Okay, right click, new sheet, A1 metric, that's perfectly fine. And then you just come in here and find your, let's see, our section, 3D section. And then we can just place it like so. And I also like to get rid of my title, so no title. And let's actually hide the crop region. Okay, so it's much cleaner like this. And then you just come in here to the text, you bring it in. And then you can actually just get rid of the title and the crop view. But now what you'll notice is when you select this view and when you move it, it's going to give you these guidelines. And it's actually going to guide you exactly in the position where this should be, which is here. So here we should have probably cropped this a little bit, but there we go. It's pretty much showing us exactly what we want to see. Obviously, if you put in a bit more effort, it's going to look nicer. Also, something that I would do here is that for this text, I would just select these uh, this text, right click, override graphics and view by element. And then here I would just assign some color just to make it a bit more colorful. So just like this. And then when we go back, let's see, there we go, Look, looks much better. So there we go, that's how you can create these really cool kind of 3D sections with 3D text. It's informative, it looks really, really good, and I think it's a, it's a great presentation tool to use. So there you go. I, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you want to get this project file, you can find all of my Revit project files on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up just below this video in the description, and then also up in the cards above. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.